All right, in this video, we're gonna be palpating muscle known as serratus anterior. For the start of this, I'm actually gonna bring my partner's arm up and across his body and just out of the way, as I'm going to be palpating a large number of ribs on the lateral aspect here. Serratus anterior originates on ribs one through nine, but I often like to say it originates from ribs nine to one. The reason being, it's gonna be easier to palpate ribs nine than it is to try and find one. So as we're going from the origin, I'm actually gonna start in more of the inferior fibers and work my way up to try and get towards the superior fibers. The first thing we're gonna be doing is looking for the 10th rib. This is easier done because the 10th rib is the last rib that has a costal cartilage attachment towards the sternum. So the 11th rib is actually known as a floating rib. So I've actually identified his 11th rib here and felt the tip. So I know that this one's not connected with the costal cartilage. So that makes this rib in between my two fingers rib number 10. Just above that would be rib number nine. And this is our first muscular attachment for serratus anterior. It is not attaching to the costal cartilage. It's more attaching to the actual rib area. So I'm going to stay very lateral and you almost want to think about being lateral to pectoralis major, but anterior to your latissimus dorsi. So here's rib number nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm going to pause here again, making sure that you're lateral to that pectoralis major and anterior to that latissimus dorsi. So there is a little bit of a window in here. So again, on rib number four, I'm gonna switch my hand, take my time sinking in a little bit. Rib number three, I'm gonna go up into his axilla and sink down towards rib number two. And we're not going to be able to palpate rib number one. So we're gonna basically be able to count on the majority of people from nine to two. Now I haven't activated this muscle, so I wanna show everybody from this camera view what it's gonna look like. So I have his arm strategically like this as he's gonna to try to push his elbow up towards my hand. A common error is that people will have the full arm extended, but they leave it kind of bent. So it ends up being more elbow extension than it actually is the full scapulothoracic protraction. So I prefer to use a bent elbow and ask them just to push their elbow up towards your hand. So while I'm palpating the outer edge of that rib, I'm gonna push down on that and you'll start to feel some muscular belly sticking up on the ribs. So right in here, I'm able to feel that muscle belly quite easily. And I'm gonna follow that up back towards that axilla. Another thing that you can do is by finding the edge of lats, you're gonna to try to push down lats, putting the flat part of your palm and fingers up against the ribs, and then as they lift up, you will feel this muscle that will lift up inside your hands. Take caution not to scrub really hard over top of the person's ribs, because most people will not enjoy that at all. So you can feel the majority of the origins and a portion of the muscle belly but you will not be able to feel the insertion from this position. So I'm actually gonna ask him to turn onto his side facing away from me. The serratus anterior fibers are running from anterior towards the scapula. Again, from anterior towards the scapula and they go deep to the scapula. So the actual insertion point is on the anterior medial border of the scapula. So for that, I'm going to try and retract the scapula to soften up for me to get my fingers underneath. So one way for me to do that is again to position his arm and try to pull that scapula and humerus towards me. But again, if they're having difficulty letting go, we might change our hand position a little bit. I'm actually going to move around the camera person here a little bit. So I'm going to take the weight of his humerus and his scapula. And I'm going to pull it back towards me as long as they're able to completely let go. And if not, we might change the arm position here a little bit, like so. And I'm going to reach my fingertips underneath in here and almost hook them. So I'll sit back down again so you can see this a little easier. So I'm pulling the scapula into retraction and actually feeling the anterior 
surface of that scapula along that medial border. There's a very close connection between serratus anterior and rhomboids. So if they have extremely tight rhomboids, it's going to be tricky for us to palpate serratus anterior's insertion. So that's going to conclude our palpation of the origin to insertion of serratus anterior.